All right, everybody, looks like I'm live. Hopefully I'm live. Let me know you're out there. I'm a little early with what I want to talk about today. So um, we'll go wait for you guys to get on board and get after it. So uh, one of the things I can talk about when I'm waiting is people who write me and tell me that it's expensive to eat a healthy, whole food, plant-based diet. And it's ironic. I made a note, mental note, uh, on my refeed day on the weekend. I ran into the store, I was feeling munchies, and I... Uh, purchased a big bag of, of chips and some onion dip and a diet Dr. Pepper, and it was $11.50. And I compare that to one of my dinner meals. I buy 19-ounce cans of my beans or legumes, which are 88 cents and last two meals. So one of my dinner meals, that's 44 cents for my protein. Um, and then I eat brown rice a lot. And a, brown, a box of brown rice costs me about, I don't know, three let's say 350 for the box that lasts last me weeks so let's say the brown rice portion of that meal is about a dollar and then uh, the veggies that i use uh, organic or whatnot um that's let's err on the side of that being the more expensive thing let's say that's uh three dollars four dollars so in total that's about half the price of eating complete junk food and then and yet people still say that it costs much more to eat right uh, i don't get that but anyway that was just while i'm waiting for people to get on board so hopefully if you're a trainer out there uh this applies to you as well so uh you know can you achieve your goal is the reason i'm wording it like this is over the years and especially a lot lately i get clients and i get people writing me saying things like i know i can do it i know i can do it and then you know they haven't done it yet, but I know I can do it. So I want to explore that uh, topic. And if you're a trainer out there, you're going to have clients who come to you with that kind of phrase as well. And I'm going to explain to you why this is sort of faulty um, mental linguistics. So faulty mental programming, as I'm always saying, quality of mindset determines quality of behavior. So very, very important uh, that people understand this. Because if you think you're just going to suddenly uh, reach your goal without any kind of feedback from your mind and with your mind, then you're always going to be struggling. So especially for you trainers out there, watch the language that your clients use, especially if they haven't reached their goal yet and they have trouble reaching their goal. It's If they're inconsistent with diet strategy and training, then... Oftentimes, what they report about that inconsistency is going to leave clues to how you can help them. So can you reach your physique weight loss goal? Secrets to achieving your goal. And let me know that you're out there with some emoticons and stuff. Facebook likes that stuff. So this isn't a PowerPoint or anything like that. I did write notes I'm going to read from. But uh, this one won't be like an hour-long webinar or anything. So uh, hopefully, you know, some of you re-watching this later will leave some comments as well. But here's the question. How many of you believe you can reach your weight loss goal or your physique transformation goal, only you haven't done it yet? So like I said, a lot of people come to me with, I know I can do this. Um, and then the yeah buts come in or other things that uh, have gotten away. So, so many people come to me and they share that sentiment. I know I can reach my goal. Or let's, let's break it down to something even more specific. I know I can stick to my diet this weekend away. Like I'm away for the next week. I know I can stick to my diet. And yet when they get back to me, they don't stick to their diet and uh, they don't reach their goal, even though they're constantly playing a mental tape in their head that says, I know I can. Now, here's the thing. If someone's goals are realistic, then yes, indeed, 80 to 90% of you out there can reach your physique transformation goal. Absolutely. Yet, less than 5% of people actually reach a physique transformation goal and sustain it. So if 80 to 90% of people with realistic expectations can achieve their goal, yet less than 5% actually do that and sustain it, then what's the matter with this math here? What is going on when people who have realistic goals can indeed achieve them and yet they don't so what's wrong with that sort of 
mental math that's going on. So here's some thinking strategies you need to consider. And for those of you out there, uh, you can read my book, Mindset of Achievement. I'm, even in this week, I've got lots of positive feedback on that book. Um, if you go to my website, uh, you can download that, hit the green button, download that for free. But let's talk mental fitness here because, as you know, I'm a big believer that quality of mindset determines quality of behavior. So telling your mind, I can do this, doesn't direct your mind to actually do anything. And that's the problem that people don't understand. So you can like positive thinking and all the rest, but saying, I know I can do this is merely a statement in your mind. It's not a clear self-directing instruction. So this is like putting Google on your homepage, but never actually directing and instructing Google to search for anything, which brings up my next point that I want to post up on here. And you need to understand this. Your mind is a search engine and you got to treat it as such and understand what that means. So Again, just by saying, I know I can do this, you're not telling your mind to do anything. Your mind works exactly as a search engine works. So your mind works the same way. If you merely tell your mind statements, there's no direction or instruction to turn those statements into action. So let me give you an example. Let's say I know nothing about social media. Someone just dropped me uh, from a third world planet, a uh, third world country into the modern uh societal milieu and someone tells me I should be on social media for my business and I walk around for days and days saying I know I can use social media for my business I know I can use social media for my business but if I never direct my mind to actually do that then saying I can doesn't lead anywhere it doesn't go anywhere and it's not self-direct it's not thoughts that lead to self-directed action so here's the other thing about that so people say okay i get it i'm not going to say i know i can do this so then you come people will come back to me <clears throat> and they'll say so i'll change my mental statement from i know i can do this to i will achieve my goal i know i will do this i know i will stick to my diet this weekend and i will uh you know get get my training done when i'm on vacation but this doesn't direct your mind either. All you've done by switching the comment from I can to I will is futurize the I can statement. That's known in cognitive behavioral therapy, futurizing. So you make it more about some time in the future. In other words, I, using that example from before, I could go and say, you know, I know I can use social media for my business and do nothing. Oh, that's the wrong way to think about it. I know I will use social media to enhance my business. But again, there's no directed thought, actionable thought sequence there. It's not self-directed actionable instruction. And that's how your mind needs to work and needs to be programmed if you want to achieve a sustainable goal. And it's like the Google example above, if you change I can to I will, you're just telling yourself someday I will use this search engine. Someday I'll use Google to search um, for social media, for business, etc. So remember, your mind is a search engine. It not only believes what you tell it, but it also follows the direction you give it, just like using an online search engine. That is huge, and that's really, really important. And that's where I see people go off the rails all the time. The most powerful statements you can make to your mind is I am statements. So also, how to do those things, Google, when you use Google, the most uh, usable format is to type into a search engine how to. How to searches yield instructions for action. Your mind works the same way. Therefore, anytime you engage in an activity that constructively moves you toward your goal, you have to tell your mind, I'm doing what it takes to achieve my goal, or this is what it takes to ch achieve my goal. So by using the actual other example of how to, if I want to reach my goal and say, I know I can reach my goal, start directing your mind to actionable direction by saying, how to, how am I going to reach my goal? How am I going to stick to my diet on vacation? How am I going to stick to my program on vacation? So whether this is uh, following an assigned diet meal or following your workout plan or an exercise regimen, you need to clue 
include I am statements because they're powerful to your mind and you need to surrender the me mental masturbation of I can or I will, which doesn't direct your mind to do anything. So you always have to remind your mind self-directing to take action nature. That's really what's important. You got to bear down instead of saying, I know I can do this doesn't tell your mind to do anything. Remind yourself your mind is a search engine and ask yourself how to or how am. How am I going to accomplish X? How am I going to stick to my diet on vacation? How am I going to uh, reach my goal? Those are more powerful than I know I can because I know I can. That's like me saying, I know I can eat pizza for dinner tonight. That doesn't direct my mind to actually do so. All right. So that's important. Remember, quality of mindset determines quality of behavior. So you need to make constant self-directing thoughts and agenda to your mind and replace non-actionable statements like I can or I will. Again, remember that example that I just used. If I walk around, I put Google on my homepage, but I never use it to search anything, then it's not doing anything for me so if i say i know i can use social media to my advantage and i walk around saying i know i can i know i can i know i can and i've got this search engine tool called my mind but i never actually put it to use to actually search how to then i'm not going to achieve my goals just mental masturbation of feeling good about something i'm telling myself so how you achieve and sustain any goal is through how to statements to your mind set your mind on a how to agenda and I am statements to your mind. Now that latter one is a catch 22 because when you fail or slip or trip and fall, um, then oftentimes you start saying, I am negatives. I am useless. I am fat. I am miserable. I am, and your mind believes everything you tell it. So negative I am statements aren't motivating to action at all. So you need to express I am statements that have actionable results, constructive and productive actionable results. So remember saying I can or I will requires no actionable consequences um, at all. So th that's what you need to keep in mind. Those things don't drive you forward. So a lot of people end up frustrating because they'll write me and say, I know I can do this. I know I can do this. And yet they've never done it or they've never sustained it. They've done it once or twice, had a small victory, won a battle, lost the war, won the battle, lost the war. And yet the mental tape they keep playing in their mind over and over again is, I know I can, I know I can, I know I can. And they haven't learned from the past that that's not directing them to anything constructive and productive. So along those lines also, question about your goals. And here's what I need to ask a lot of people. Are your goals really and truly your own goals? So a few people write me, and I've had this conversation with other experts, and they'll say, my husband wants me to lose weight. My husband says he's not attracted to me anymore. I need your help to lose weight. That's, that's a problem. <laughs> so if your goals aren't really and truly your own goals, there's some type of societal script or expectations you're following, or there's someone else's uh, expectations put upon you, then, you know, whether it's envy or whatever, body image or money or whatever you're pursuing, you have to embrace and internalize the process of getting there or your I am because looking to achieve a goal of someone else's expectations, like my husband wants me to lose weight, is going to leave you either exhausted and bitter or it's going to leave you empty or both. So if your goals aren't truly your own, they're just something you think you should be doing, or something that's been put upon you from someone else, uh, then you're likely going to run into issues. We see all this, this all the time with sports parenting as well, right? The hockey parent, the football parent, whose goal for their kid is actually their goal. It's not their kid's goal. And then the kid takes up the sport, but it's like taking bitter medicine. They end up exhausted, bitter, resentful, and empty, and they don't want to do it anymore. So the actual having that kind of parent actually drives them away from the parent's dream for the child because it wasn't their own goal. So that's really important as well as an adult. If your physique transformation goal isn't really your own, then it's going to lead to being exhausted and bitter or it's going to lead you to feeling empty. So 
I achieved a world-class physique and then a world-class reputation as a coach and expert because I was just fascinated by what the body could do and how and why it could do it. And that was its own payoff. That was the gravy. So that's what I want you to understand. Don't confuse the gravy with the meal. When it comes to spiritual dining and what's going to sustain you and expand you and grow you, most people are trying to dine on the gravy, in other words, the results, without ever knowing what the actual meal is and what that meal consists of. Uh, commitment, consistency, preparation, all those things. So be less about I can and I will statements. Get that powerful mental search engine working on actionable self-directed thoughts. Actionable self-directed thoughts. So let me just put that in there because this is way, way better than something like I can or I will statements. So you want actionable self-directed thoughts. So if you want to know, well, how do I do that? That's, that's the example I've been using. How to. Set your mind to how to. How am I going to stick to my diet when I'm away this weekend? How am I going to stick to my diet when I'm out for dinner with friends, et cetera, et cetera? It's not about I can or I will. That doesn't support actionable self-direction. So that's very important. This is enhanced mental fitness I'm talking about here. Remember, quality of mindset determines quality of behavior. Just telling yourself you can do something isn't any kind of underlying element that's going to guarantee you're going to do it. So look for mental how-to searches in your own mind, how to stick to your diet, how to live up to your expectations and process goals, how to change a habit. Treat your mind like you're talking to Siri, you know, on your, on your iPhone. Direct your mind to actionable, productive, and constructive thought sequences. That's what's important. Your mind is a search engine. You have to make it work for you. So change inert thoughts of I can and I will into something better, more constructive, more productive, more actionable. That's what you really, really want. That's what you really, really need. And I wanted to keep this short, but I seem to be running into this kind of mental masturbation a lot lately. So I wrote a few notes when I was getting emails from people, questions from people. And I just jotted a few things down about what was actually in their email. And there was that that basic bottom line, I know I can do this, but I haven't yet. I know I can achieve my goal, but I haven't yet. Uh, you know, I know I can do this. And that's not an actionable procedure. So uh, if you want to get deeper into this, then you can go to my book, Mindset of Achievement, free on my website, scottablefitness.com. If you just click uh, the green button, you'll be able to download that for free with other stuff as well. So interested in your thoughts. I'm not even sure how many people are even out there. I know it's the middle of the day on a work day, but this was just one of my little one, little videos I wanted to do live. It's not uh, something, not a webinar. I'll be getting back to the webinars next week, but I just wanted to know if anybody had any thoughts on that. So feel free after I post this, uh, feel free to comment on it below. Hopefully you understand that your mind is a powerful search engine, just like Google. But if you have Google on your homepage and you never ask Google to search for anything, then it's not really a valuable tool, is it? And the same thing works with your mind. Your mind is a powerful search engine, but if you're not asking it to do anything, you're not directing it to do anything, then you're not putting it to better use, good use, functional use, productive use, and constructive use. So that is the really, really big stuff, the really, really important stuff. Dump the I can and I will statements that just make you feel good about yourself and look for how-to statements and get your mind searching for those answers. How to do something. How am I going to do something? And watch the I am statements you're doing to your mind. Make them less about self-judgment and make them more about um, self-directed actionable sequences. And that's really important. That's what's meant by quality of mindset determines quality of behavior. So that's just a little one, folks. I hopefully that uh, helps some of you. I know there's no barely nobody uh, watching right now. But when you watch this in replay, feel free to comment below. Let me know uh, what you think about that. And again, if you want to get deeper into these mental blocks that prevent you from achieving your goal, 
check out my book, Mindset of Achievement, over on my website. So that's it for today. I'll be back with longer webinars in the next few days, probably. Uh, so hopefully you benefited from this. And if you did, uh, let me know. Hit the share button, whatever. And I'll see you all in the next video.